What is up, YouTube? My name is Jellybean. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed the four videos I posted about the RTA, Rapid Transit Authority trains, and the SC70 ACU passing the three-way meet and all those four videos. But today, we are going to be reviewing some locomotives that people really love in the Norfolk Southern community. It is this right here. No, I'm kidding. That's actually a project I'm working on. But honest, we're working on, we're going to be reviewing two locomotives. So they're both by Bachman. And Bachman, people think Bachman's detail is not as good. But it, it is because it's you got to think it's for a cheaper audience who doesn't want to spend a lot of money. So I'm doing this review plainly. If anybody wants to get into model railroading, they can just go to Bachman. Because Bachman does make some very high quality stuff. So, first off, we're going to be looking at the Norfolk Southern um, Central of Georgia 8101 Heritage Unit. And we're going to be looking at one of my favorite SD70 ACU Norfolk Southern Heritage Units, the Illinois Terminal SD70 ACU, or <laughs> SD70 ACE 1072. Illinois Terminal, nice and green. And yes, I am sorry guys, I did already unpack this because I just wanted to, I was very excited for this locomotive. Because this is one of my first Jeevos. This is my very first Jeevo I've ever had. So let me just go over here and get this paperwork. So if you guys want to look through it real quick. So this is a warranty you have right here if you want to turn, this is a one year warranty for Bachman products. I'm going through this real quick so I don't want this video to be like one hour long. This is a programming sheet, DCC equipped locomotive operation. This is your quick start guide right here, so you can look through this when you get it. And these, if you, and if you want me to make a video just basing it on, um, if you guys want to make me a, make a video just basing it on like this reading stuff, you can tell me and I will. This is a card, you have to put your stuff on it if you, just in case you want to get some more stuff from Bachman. The last thing we have is a notice. So you can read through that if you want, blow it up to 1080p and go at it. So let's get on to the locomotive. So here we have the Central of Georgia, ES44AC, Tier 3 Jivo. It's a beautiful, beautiful unit. Lean it on the side. Let me do this. So here we have it's a beautiful locomotive. We have the plow, anti-climber. The MU cables above. I think these the um, ditch lights actually do work. Because Bakken made this is the second run you have Central of Georgia on the front, a little yellow is the top of it. You have the older style PTC dome antennas, and, uh, anti skid right here, 8101, the NS little moniker right there. You have the escape hatches, Central of Georgia along the long hood, the exhaust stack, the K5 HL horn. I'm pretty sure. Here's the top of the Jeevo. Here's the other side is pretty much the same. Got the high ad trucks, the coupler. The couplers are Animare uh, standard, I checked. The builder's plate right there, I think. The sand filler hatches. So yeah, this is all together a very beautiful unit. Well done. Let's place this right here. Go. So next up, we're going to be doing the um, unboxing of the Illinois Terminal SD70 ACU 1072. That was a handful. So we're going to... I actually unboxed... Well, the main reason I unboxed uh, ES44 AC was so you, you guys won't have to see both the unboxings. Because like I said, I don't want this video to be like, you know, hours long. So in this one, in the SD70 ACE one... They have pretty much the same thing, so this is the DCC operation. Here is the parts diagram, body show, all the good stuff. And this stuff right here. Basically the same thing. It tells you where Bachman is located. You can write your name and number and all that if you want more products from Bachman instead of going online. Because I did go on Amazon to get these two locomotives. I did not want to spend the extra money because the whole the whole point of actually buying these was to show you guys like the MSRP for these for this locomotive and the ES44 AC would normally be like $399, almost $400, you know. But a three 
around the 350 range. But since I got these on Amazon, they're the same locomotive. But these one, but this one is um $150. So I got the ES44 and the SD70 Ace for around $350. Pretty r reasonable price for considering like the high Atherins. Like if I go to let's see, if I go to my if I go to this unit right here, this SD70 or SD40-2, I got this locomotive from the hobby shop, and that was actually three hundred dollars. So you know. Our models these days are like $300 and up. That's because they have a lot of detail. But for Bachman, you know, you get the basic locomotive. You might have a few additional parts that are not um, separately applied. But they're pretty good for, you know, the cost. Because you got to think these are made just for people who don't want to spend that much money. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And they pretty much already have do have the same detail as like the high Atherins. But it's just for targeted for people because Bachman, if, if Bachman wasn't a thing, I wouldn't be a modeler. You know, like all these trains I have, I would just be a rail fan or I would not be a modeler because modeler, these models do cost a lot of money. So, let's uh, check this one out. So, this is Norfolk Southern 1072, Illinois Terminal SD70 ACU. Beautiful green plow, uh, striped anti-climber, the ditch lights do flash when you blow the horn. Got the beautiful stripes, got the top, anti-skid anti uh, PTC, the old PTC antenna array, um, 1072, you have these beautiful handrails, you have the silver underbody, that's what the underside looks like, the trucks are silver, one of the only Norfolk Southern SC70 ACEs that are silver underbody, Illinois Terminal, here's the back. Got the lights, the ditch lights are in the back, so that's good. The top, pretty much the same. Horns a different color, so that's good. K5 LLA horn, which is one of my favorite horns ever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I kept this review under 30 minutes. I was not expecting that at all. I, I expected it to be well over like, 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 I don't know, like an hour. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please hit a like, hit the slap the like button, nice and fat and juicy like button that sounded a bit sus, YouTube don't demonetize me for it, but if you guys did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, comment, add me on your favorites if you would like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And one more thing before I go, if you guys want me to do a run by of both of these locomotives, I will. I'm planning to run both of these locomotives. And I'm planning to also do this locomotive right here, the Union Pacific, um, what is this, the 3593 Desert Storm. I'm planning to do that, the New Heritage units, I'm going to do my George Bush SD70 ACE run by. So basically all my locomotives I'm going to do a run by in different videos. I might edit them together, I don't know. But yeah guys, I will see you guys in the next video.